Hey, welcome back. Uh, the last few videos about arrays that we've been doing, every time we print the arrays to the screen, we've always just been putting an end line between each element so they print in a vertical list. But this video uh, is just going to show you how to make it so we can print our array elements in a nice horizontal line just like this with these little element separators between them. Now these element separators here, like I've highlighted, you just get that by pressing shift backslash on your computer, giving you that nice vertical line. This is just an alternative way to print stuff to the screen that's not a vertical line. You know, sometimes we want to print in horizontal lines. So it's actually not too bad to do this. We need our for loop. And again, we're, as always, we're just going to initialize in i equals zero. This lines up really nicely with our array index values because the first index value for the first element is zero and then the next index value is one, two, three, four. Um, so our condition will be less, so i is less than five. Again, this is because we don't want to be trying to call um, an element like the sixth element when there's really only five because that'll give us a bounds error which will just kind of mess up our program and we don't want to go down that road. And then we have i plus plus. Okay, so now what we want to do, you notice here actually the element separators are only between the values. They're not before the first one and they're not after the last one. So to do that we're going to use an if statement. And so our condition will be if i is less than zero, no sorry, not less than zero, if i is greater than zero, <laughs> what we're going to do is then we will insert our, our uh, element separator. So we'll see out uh, well, this is actually going to be a string, so we'll have we'll start with our quotation, all the space, then we'll press shift backslash to get that nice vertical line, then a space, and then we'll close that string off, put a semicolon in. Then the next thing that we want to do is we'll actually see out the value. So see out um, values i, just like that. So let's go and build and run this program and see what we get so far. Okay, so when we run this, there we go. It's actually pretty close to what we want. We just have this log out here that's kind of annoying. So let's, uh, we can get rid of that by outside the loop. We'll just add one end line. So we'll see out end line and that should be enough. Just at the very end of our program when it's done everything, then it'll just bump down that little log out text. There we go. So that's exactly what we wanted. 10, 2, 6, 34, 60 with just these nice little bars in between. And that's happening because, well, first the first time we come through the loop, i is not greater than zero because i is zero so it's not going to insert that and then the next thing it does is it inserts or it prints i guess to the screen values zero and the zero element is this 10 it's the first element and then when we come through the second time we increment i so now i is equal to one and because i is greater than zero then we're going to see out this guy and then print that so and then we just carry on and then it just works and it doesn't end up printing that last one because uh, if you if you run through this with a pencil the whole time and you actually work this out by hand, you'll see that by the time it's on its last iteration, it'll spit out that 60 and then it'll, it'll kick you out of that loop. All right, so there you go. That's just an alternative way to print stuff to the screen when you're talking about array elements. And uh, I hope you found it helpful.